check it out. Come, uh, I got a little subcast action going on. Uh, this one has to do with well, actually, probably a few different things. But I was going to start off with um, uh, we just had Upper State this last weekend, and uh, well, our guys wrestled hard. You know, we only got one guy with his uh, ticket punched through all the way to state, but you know, and he was Upper State champ. So we'll go ahead and take that. Uh, we'll also go with uh, last year. We ended up we had one guy punch his way through. He won Upper State, and then he ended up winning the whole thing. So you know, looking to do a little repeat performance of that. Uh, hopefully we can we can get that going and uh, you know uh, all goes well there so our, our season's getting ready to come come to an end it gets kind of sad a little bit but you know at least we've got um, some good NCAA wrestling still going on uh, lots of other good matches going on uh, big one that we had was uh, Michik versus Siriano um, you know Tyler's like hey Michik's uh, legit now you know since he he finally wrestled somebody but I was still like, you know, but Seriano, one, really hadn't looked like himself, uh, like he did, kind of did last year. And then, two, he got in on some shots. He just he just wasn't able to finish. I don't think um, Michik was 100% uh, thrilled with his performance because, you know, he didn't dominate like he has been. So, um, you know, I still think 133 is just kind of crazy and up in the air. Um, also, I was thinking about it, you know, you kind of finish off, not finish off season because we still got to stay left, but you kind of finish off a little bit of time. <clears throat> And you begin to um, really think about what we need to improve on and do things like that. So, you know, it's one of those things that uh, constantly needing to improve, wanting to improve, um, wanting to get better. So we'll, we'll, uh, we'll revisit the drawing board and look what we got to do to keep our guys moving in the right way. Um, we see a lot of good things from uh, the <clears throat> youth to middle school on up. So um, heading in the right direction, just like anything else, takes time, takes a uh, – got to keep moving forward. Um, not just – you know, on our parts, the athletes' parts, uh, it's a buy-in thing. It's changing the culture. All those things we're working on and chipping away at. So I think we're heading the right way. But um, not to get too far into that, I had some great conversations while I was at Upper State. Another thing that's great about our sport, it's not just necessarily the sport itself, It's which is a phenomenal sport, but, you know, sometimes you just get to talk and having good conversations with uh, athletes, with parents, with other coaches, old friends, new friends, all that kind of stuff like that. So, um, you know, and one of the things that uh, I was actually talking to, spent a lot of time, got to talk with uh, Coach Gillette, one of our new uh, uh, volunteer assistants, uh, Ben Gillette from SDSU, graduated, he's in medical school down here, he comes in uh, when he's not studying for his boards and he's not doing other things, he's helping, the, helping our guys out, really helping our lightweights out, uh, awesome to have on board. Um, doing great things but we were having a, a really cool conversation about um, running and uh, lately I've been picking up my run and been trying to run in the mornings and we talked about the, the podcast and I was like you know do the little things like PSAs and um, you know a little perfect uh, public service announcements and I was gonna bring this one back up again just cuz uh, I'd started running again some more <clears throat> but and it relates to a lot of different things uh, some things that you see out there but we were talking about running unplugged and what I mean by that is, you know, when you go running, we don't always need to plug in. We don't always need to put the headphones in and go for the run to forget about the run. Enjoy the run for what it is and, and allow that to be some time to unplug from everything else. Let it be time to unplug from social media. Let it be time to unplug, like, you don't have to have music to make you want to run. Like, have, let, it, let, it, let your mind clear itself out. Let it do its own thing. Let you have your time to yourself without other external things like music or or even podcasts which you know I used to like listening to podcasts while I was doing things too but I found that lately like just having that little bit of time that 20 25 minutes of time uh, to yourself unplugged can be very beneficial now we were talking about there are times when like yeah I can get it you may be wanting to go for a run or a jog and you, know, you got to listen to some boards or some notes on something hey mo utilize the time that you have when you're trying to cram every last thing in, into your day but if there's time for you to be able to get out, get out there, go for a run, go for a walk, go do something unplugged, leave your phone someplace else. Um, I won't lie, I mean, I've got my watch, I time the, uh, time the run, it syncs up with the, uh, with the phone and puts all the data and stuff in there. So I can keep track of things, but I don't take the phone with me and it's kind of nice. Um, also, uh, my wife was a runner, uh, still is a runner, and she talked about it from a safety standpoint, especially for women. Like, 
don't run plugged in. You know, you want to be able to hear your surroundings, kind of be one with nature, kind of be one with your surroundings and things around you. Um, I run earlier in the morning, so for me, it's not safe in the sense that I need to be able to hear cars coming. Uh, even though I do run with uh, called the Iron Man light, got the big old flashlight on the chest and everything else like that, you know, they still may not see you. So it's beneficial for you to be running. So to be a part of your environment, hear what's going on. So it's a safety issue as well, uh, or from a safety standpoint. Um, my man. Rocco Mansueto told me about the Iron Man stuff. You know, they don't let you run with headphones up because they want you to become part of that community, talk to those around you. Now, granted, um, you know, five in the morning, I'm not really running with anybody else other than myself, so it's not like I'm having conversations with other people. But, you know, I just really like the idea of, in today's society, having time to unplug and do those types of things. And it was funny because uh, Ben Gillette was telling me about the stories that asked if I'd heard about the dude that. Uh, had to strangle a mountain lion and he was either out on a hike or, or a walk or a run or something like that and then I looked it up and you know he didn't have headphones in apparently because he was able to hear the mountain lion coming which is really kind of crazy that you could hear it coming because I think they're pretty stealthy but if you haven't heard it check it out um, he heard it he tried to do all the big things tried to make himself look real big make a lot of big noise and all that still was attacked by this thing um, of course they're a wrestling podcast so I heard he had to wrestle the thing down to the ground um, really honestly I have no idea if he's got any wrestling background or not but he did end up wrestling with the thing the uh, thing's mouth was in his uh, arm Apparently he had to roll around for a long time. He tried sticks, rocks, everything else, and uh, basically was lucky that it was a juvenile. Lucky that he had cats himself, I guess, or knew about cats that you know he was avoiding the back legs from like scratching all up into him. So eventually, you know, uh, you know, won the battle. Had to strangle the uh, the mountain lion. Kind of unfortunately, I had to do it, but you know, glad that he survived. Uh, lucky that it was a juvenile type thing. But just thought it was an interesting story, and it's kind of something that we talked about after like. We talked about running without things and unplugging. I was like, hey, in this case, if he didn't have that stuff, you know, maybe it would have saved. Maybe it did save his life. Uh, he's also talked about, you know, safety. He, you know, from now on, where he's hiking and running and doing things out in the mountains, he said he'll for sure be, you know, with somebody else to make sure that uh, he's not in that situation again. But you know, uh, like I said, just wrestling great for so many reasons. Uh, we love doing. I love doing these little subcasts for you. Um, go out, unplug from things enjoy that time refocus like we're getting ready to refocus with a uh, with wrestling well not necessarily refocus. we're refocused right now on our heavyweight getting him ready um but then we'll also refocus for our off season which you know um as coach tyler and i like to say call it our on season get ready for some locking hands i'm already looking forward to that but you know um take some time refocus reboot yourselves just get away from things enjoy that time um you know like i said as much as we all love love our uh, devices and everything else you know it's nice to get away from them and do something for yourself without them at times so there's a little subcast a little mini tiny bit of little rock wrestling talk today um but oh man i, I can't wait to sort of coach on and i get our uh regular show back going on um a lot of things coming up i cannot wait for um iowa and oklahoma state um, there was a lot of other great wrestling going on this past weekend uh man you know penn state's just looking crazy good uh their match with against ohio state i mean just so much stuff keep listening we'll have some more uh wrestling talk coming your way real soon um until then you guys uh go check out roll soap um fractalbjj.com cerebrus wrestling get yourself to 10 percent off get yourself some soap uh check out the rash guards and other things like that and um you know we'll, we'll holler at you real soon see you bye bye <laughs>